Within qualitative design, we want to make sure we have rigor or trustworthiness. To do so, each qualitative design should have truthfulness, applicability, and consistency. Truthfulness in qualitative design is similar to internal validity. Applicability is similar to external validity with quantitative design. So we want to make sure that we're being honest and we can apply what we've learned to a different audience so we have truthfulness and applicability. And then we want consistency, which is dependability. And this can range from within the researcher to the researched situation, person, or culture. So how can we increase or make rigor a little bit more substantial in qualitative design? First, let's look at truthfulness. We can increase our truthfulness or make it more prominent by triangulating our research methods, which means gathering information from more than one method and one, one, more than one source. We can have prolonged engagement so we better understand the situation, the culture, or whatever it is we're looking at. We can pr provide member checks where we engage with the person or situation to make sure that we're gathering correct information. And then we can also do peer debriefing whether that's between participants that we're looking at or as the researcher ourselves is doing peer debriefing with another researcher that can help us. We want to look at applicability, meaning we're often very thick and rich descriptions of what we're doing. Then for consistency, we'll look at an external audit, which is giving our research information or our results and stuff like that to an external source that has some expertise in order to gain information and feedback regarding our methodology and outcomes. Within triangulation, there's a certain thing called mixed methods design that we want to look at. And there's two types. There's concurrent and sequential. Concurrent mixed methods is when we collect quantitative and quantitative data at the same time. And this can provide some very rich and robust information. So we've got the, the what I call the breadth of information, collecting a lot of it, and the depth, which is the richness. Then we can look at sequential, which is collecting quantitative and qualitative data at different times. Whether quantitative is first or qualitative is first, we're looking at getting a general idea, which is the breadth, which is usually quantitative, and then the depth and the richness, which is usually qualitative. Depending on the research subject or your methodology would depend on if you do quantitative or qualitative design first.